hello everyone i am akhil welcome to you all to another video so in this video we are going to add menu to our login activity so let's start uh, in resource uh, folder we are going to create one more folder name it as menu so inside the menu we'll add a menu resource file and we'll name it as menu underscore login as we are adding menu to our login activity so here we created and then we'll go to the menu login and here we'll add item so first of all we'll give the id id will be menu underscore add then i'll give the title as add then uh, show as action will be if room so what this show as action is like uh, if there is a room available for menu to appear on the app bar then it will show if it is not there then it will add inside a pop-up which appears when you click on three dot menu icon okay so that's the meaning of if room okay so that's it and we'll need icon as well so as of now i don't have icon so i'll create the icon on drawable click on right click then click where is image asset and here i have already named it as ic name named it as ic underscore add selected the image as plus button okay and um, okay hollow dark is the theme and then i'll click on next and i'll finish it up okay so my uh, the icon is created i'll give the icon here okay so it's done now go we'll go to the login activity so there are two methods which we need to um, override first is on create option menu and second is on option item selected yes this one so here basically we'll need to inflate our layout layout file so we'll need to get the menu layout inflator i mean menu inflator okay so this is the method that is get menu inflator and uh, i'll say my inflator to inflate layout as r dot menu dot menu layout and we'll pass this menu checked and that's it in the next method if user clicks on the menu item so this will make this method will get executed and I'll check if the IDs are what I'm expecting I mean uh, if the user is clicking on the right item or not so I'm comparing if it clicks on the menu add if so I'll navigate user to the law registration screen start activity new intent login activity dot this object and mm, register activity dot class so i'll run and we'll see okay so it will take a minute to run okay so it's start it started emulator started and uh, you can see there are a number of users so i'll add one user name it as ramesh and then i'll click on register button oops so can you see there are uh, i guess the elements got repeated so what is the solution to this is like uh, we are adding all the items in our presenter class so in our login presenter so basically in this users this user we are not clearing it so before adding new items to this users i'll clear this list and then i'll run again okay there are so many users now mm, it's running okay so i'll create new user as um, avengers i'll click on register user is successfully and you can see avengers here okay that's it from today's video uh, if you like the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you